Look at me, 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 look at me now. Fuck, are you kidding me? You're my t Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagements, but what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their turn. He's doing it on his turn. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 195 pounds. Fighting out of Lakewood, Colorado, USA, Big Daddy. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, come into the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. The fighters touch him up. You ready? Are you ready? All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landed. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Ooh, that uppercut landed for him. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, nice combination.
right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. A big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. He is throwing a fast, straight hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Big punch from the clinch. Nice straight right lands. Trying to establish that jab once again. Great punch. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Oh, that's a nice strike. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Try to establish that jab. series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Real speed body kick. Good stick. Oh, he landed that knee to the midsection. Gotta think his opponent's gonna feel that one in the morning. And he's gonna continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice punch by Lee. Nice head kick. Going orthodox now. Punch coming, it's blocked. Using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Twenty seconds now remain in the round. Head kick lands. Big punch slam. Final seconds. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Kick blocked. Oh, big punch land. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll, he'll change his stance. 
Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. How good is that right hand? Right hand. Oh! Oh! Just misses there with the left. Oh! That'll ring your bell. Head kick. Missed with that attempt. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tuck to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a tie book class or something like that. He's going after the head. One thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Oh, blocks the shot. Nice, sneaky head kick. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Lee gets caught with that punch. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. with the right hand there. That's a big strike right there. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Wheel kick lands. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Big kick. Fourth we go! Big body kick land. Oh, he's feeling it now. Nice combination there by Lee. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Oh, good sequence there. The right hand followed by the left. Now connects with a right. Seconds winding down in round two. Lee gets caught with that punch. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down.
All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take effect. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watch him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Lee. Head kick. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Right hook to the head block. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Nice body. Oh, and he lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going right. forward. You walk full cool speed to a knee to the body, it could in the night. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. Winning this fight going away in one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Man, he's timed his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. There's no give on that leg kick. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. That was a thudding leg kick. <laughs> Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Ball left hook to the head, it's blocked. Pretty good job staying patient as he lands the counter strike there. Strong work by Lee. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Switching stances here. Effective punch there by Lee. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Not there. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. under the elbows. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Oh! He's done! He's done! Oh, big left! And that'll do it! 
15 minutes in the books. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to log the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fighting. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Slips the punch nicely there. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Big kick. Got clip with the right hand. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique. And before you know it, boom, he lands. What a tricky head kick. Liver kick. Pretty nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. Effective punch there by Lee. Right under the elbow, body kick lands. Oh, he moved right into the kick there, a kick to the head lands, and he's shown a susceptibility to that in fights prior. You can't lean into those power shots. Let's see if he can circle out and make the adjustments here. Hook to the body here, blocked by Lee. Big head kick lands. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, less than three minutes remain in round four. Big head kick. Take him down. Oh, that right hand is on point. with that punch. Pretty significant well to the left side. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Just over two minutes now to go. Misses with that punch. The overhand left is true. why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's gonna hurt this opponent. Beautifully timed and place kick there by Lee. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. What a punch. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. One minute now to go in round four of a possible five. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Connects with the right. 
All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with the, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, a nice straight there by Lee. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Fifth and final round, fourth cup. Nice loop and punch. Big right hook coming, it's locked. Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's gonna put him to sleep. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Lands with a right hand. Uppercut attempt nearly connects, but no good. Over and over, he landed these big body kicks. They're kind of targeting that cut. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Misses again with a right punch. What a body slam. Under two minutes to decide this one now. Nice punch there by Lee. Well done to block that powerful kick to the bar. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, big left hook there. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Back to the feet. Oh, 
just misses with that one. Punches drop. Ooh, big shot lands. Nice body kick right under the elbow. One minute to go in the fight. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Checks that leg kick. Flush right hand is true. Just missed with the left there. Straight punch land. Oh, good combination. Very efficient with his strikes tonight. Body kick. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Big head kick land. He just landed a nice left hook there, I, I feel. What a 15 minutes put forth. The official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest. 49-45, 50-44, and 50-44. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity.